Novel congenital disorder of O-linked glycosylation caused by loss of function of gallon T2. In this article, the authors Zilmer, Edmondson, and Caterpaul describe a new congenital disorder of glycosylation caused by defects in the gallon T2 gene. What are CDG? Congenital disorders of glycosylation, also known as CDG, are a rapidly growing group of rare genetic disorders which number over 130 different types. These disorders are caused by the incorrect or lack of synthesis of sugar antennas, also known as glycans, for proteins or lipids. Most patients with CDG have multi-system health issues, including affecting the neurological system. For a standard glycoprotein, the correct sugar transfer to proteins or lipids is essential for its biological function. With incomplete sugar antennas or entire absence of sugar antennas, this disruption leads to a great variety of symptoms with varying severity, including the involvement of nearly every organ system. What is gallon T2? The gallon T2 gene encodes the protein polypeptide N-acetylgalactosaminotransferase 2, which is a member of the Galnac transferase family. This protein specifically attaches the sugar N-acetyl-D-galactosamine to serine and threonine residues on proteins in a process known as O-glycosylation. What is GAL NT2 CDG? GAL NT2 CDG results from defects in the GAL NT2 gene. In our paper, we report a total of five different mutations in the GAL NT2 gene, causing GAL NT2 CDG. Most are nonsense mutations, and all are demonstrated loss of function mutations. How is gallon T2 CDG diagnosed? Gallon T2 CDG is typically diagnosed by genetic studies, such as exome sequencing. The protein polypeptide n acetylgalactosaminotransferase 2 also specifically glycosylates a protein called APOC3. To aid in diagnosis of gallon T2 CDG patients, we validated complete loss of O-glycans on APOC3 in the blood as a diagnostic assay for gallon T2 CDG, which is already available as a clinical test. What are the major signs and symptoms? The symptoms in gallon T2 CDG patients reported in this paper are neurologic, including global developmental delay, intellectual disability, lack of language development, behavioral abnormalities, epilepsy, chronic insomnia, and white matter lesions on brain MRI, skeletal with decreased stature, gastrointestinal with chronic constipation. Other symptoms and signs include low levels of high-density lipoprotein cholesterol and mild dysmorphic features, commonly including an elongated face, high forehead, almond-shaped eyes, protruding maxilla, short philtrum, low-set posteriorly rotated ears, and frequently full lips with a tented or curved upper lip. When to suspect GAL and T2 CDG? Patients with developmental delay, epilepsy, decreased linear growth, white matter abnormalities on brain MRI, and low HDL cholesterol should be evaluated for GAL and T2 CDG. We also characterized gallon T2 knockout rodent models, mouse and rat. Similarly to gallon T2 CDG patients, the knockout animals had growth differences, abnormal craniofacial morphology, and neurobehavioral abnormalities. These findings show that gallon T2's function is important in many organs of the body. The high prevalence of neurological disease among CDG patients highlights the brain's dependence on various glycosylation types, including gallon T2 mediated glycosylation. What is the prevalence of gallon T2 CDG? In this work, Zilmer, Edmondson, and Caterpaul identified seven affected individuals from four families two patients from an Afghan family, one patient from an Italian family, two patients from a Syrian family and two patients from an Egyptian family. Previously, Caterpaul et al. reported a Moroccan patient and an Afghan patient. However, many cases go unrecognized or misdiagnosed, so it is currently difficult to determine the true prevalence. For more information on gallon T2 CDG, please read the details in this paper. Other references include Caterpaul, 
If you have a patient with CDG and would like to connect with a clinical expert or to pursue research opportunities, please check our institutional websites. If you are a family member of an individual with CDG and would like to connect with other families or learn more about CDG, please check out www.worldcdg.org or cdgcare.org.